It's the beginning of the year, so if you're planning a big road trip around the United States, we're going to be sharing our favorite locations in this video. So grab a pen, pencil, and a notebook and start taking some notes. Hey everyone, I'm Kristen. And I'm Sia. And for the past year, we have been traveling around the United States with our Airstream, which we are in right now, hitting up some of the most incredible places. Each state offers something unique and special. And in this video, we're gonna be sharing our favorite RV resorts, as well as things to do in the areas, and our favorite restaurants that we got to eat at. Mm. So delicious. There's good food in this country. Mm -hmm. Before we get into this video, I wanna thank our sponsor, Rad Power Bikes. And honestly, this road trip would not have been the same without these two electric bikes. They're so fun. So fun. Like, we ride them every day. Our daughter begs us to go on rides all the time. I have the Rad Runner Plus. And I have the Rad Wagon. And the whole family, including our dog, can fit on the Rad Wagon. <laughs> Both of these bikes have taken our U.S. road trip on a whole other level of fun and freedom. Knowing we're using a zero emission vehicle to get us around is important to us. And we've been using our electric bikes daily, as Sia was saying, for grocery runs, getting to the beach, exploring new neighborhoods, getting to excursions, laundry days, nightly outings, or just getting around our RV park. I'm convinced that living the RV life with electric bikes really go hand in hand. We've included links to both of the bikes that we have in the video description below so you can learn more about them, as well as get your own bike, and you'll be able to see the bikes in action throughout the video. The Redwoods, one of the most magical places on earth. California coast, here we come. We drove from LA along Highway 1 through San Francisco to spend a couple of nights in the Redwoods with our rented RV. The drive to get there was absolutely phenomenal. Good morning from next to the Golden Gate Bridge. I think it's safe to say that every outdoor enthusiast dreams of seeing the redwoods. California's famed gentle giants grow along the coast from Big Sur to the Oregon border. Close to 50 California state parks preserve these towering trees, some of which are the tallest and oldest in the world. These incredible forces of nature can easily get to 300 feet high and live an average of 800 to 1500 years. We stayed in Burlington Campground, located on the Avenue of the Giants in Humboldt Redwood State Park. Here we parked next to a 2000 year old redwood that took our breath away. The air here is amazing immediately makes you feel more grounded, relaxed, just carefree, just being in the presence of these incredible living things, these creatures, these like beings of wisdom that have been here for thousands of years. The campground is open year round, has 57 sites within old and second growth redwoods and costs only $35 per night. Something to consider is there are no electrical or water hookups on any site, and only RV or trailers 24 feet or smaller are allowed. Granby, Colorado. If you're going through Colorado, you need to stay at River Run RV Resort in Granby. You'll thank me later. This place makes our top three for the best RV parks we've ever stayed at. It doesn't even matter which site you pick, you're going to get 360 degree mountain views and incredible sunsets. We're just surrounded by mountains. This resort has everything to make your stay cozy. Delicious, fun, and overall very enjoyable. The facilities are top notch. If you enjoy workout sessions, you'll be super impressed with the fitness center. You can easily spend entire days at the resort without leaving. There's just so much to do for the whole family. Good boy, the average price of an RV site per night is $61 and comes with full hookups. Since you're in Colorado, you better believe you got endless hiking trails. We use the All Trails app to find some hiking close to us. An easier trail for children is in Rocky Mountain National Park. Our whole family enjoyed this one.
Oh, we also can't forget to mention our favorite coffee joint in town, Simple Coffee Co. We highly recommend the Lavender Oat Milk Latte. I know it's a mouthful. Oh, and bring your own cup if you're gonna to order to go because they don't have single-use cups. Lavender Latte. Mm. <sighs> One of my favorite parts of the day. <laughs> Moab, Utah. Guys, we spent a week with our Airstream in Moab, and it was like being on a different planet. If you love incredible landscape, outdoor adventure, great food, dinosaurs, and skydiving, you're going to love it here. Did it, man. Nice job out there. Wow. We stayed at Moab Valley RV Park, which is located only 10 minutes or so from the downtown area, and costs on average about $54 per night with full hookups. The RV park has all of the typical amenities to make your stay comfortable and enjoyable. But it's really the location of this place that makes it the spot to stay. The RV park is only minutes away from Arches National Park, which is one of the most beautiful national parks in the US, in our opinion. I mean, just look at it. The town is also super adorable. It's got plenty of restaurants and shops to satisfy both the foodie and the shopper. Definitely hit up the bookstore and you must try out our favorite restaurant, 98 Center. I think we ate here like five times in one week. Yes. <laughs> okay, so first day in Moab and we just came to town and we were told to come to 98 Center for really good vegan gluten-free options. I got a Vietnamese coffee, but a vegan version. So it's got like coconut, I think it's coconut condensed milk. It's so good, whatever it is. Mm. It's like 38 degrees today, so it's good. Yes. Yeah. This is a vegan portobello Philly cheesesteak. Oh! Before we get back into the video of the most unforgettable places in the US to visit with your RV, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, big like, and subscribe to our channel and leave a comment below. Let us know which state you're most excited about. Santa Barbara, California. One of our stops while driving in California was Santa Barbara. We spent a week at El Capitan Canyon, a beautiful setting on the Santa Barbara coast where the Pacific Ocean meets the Santa Inez Mountains. The setting made me feel like I was at summer camp again, but a lot more luxury. We actually changed it up and stayed in a beautiful cabin for a week. But right next to El Capitan is the sister resort Ocean Mesa RV, where you can find an RV site with full hookups for an average of $102 per night. One very special feature about El Cap and Ocean Mesa is the farm. One of the best parts about this place is there are goats, baby goats too, and alpacas. Is that not the best part about this place? Yeah. Let's go see them, right? Should we? Do you think so? Yeah. Cool. Do you want to give it a, a pack yeah. before we bring it? That's how, that's how he says hello. Yeah. Can you say that, Kai? Can you say that? Across the street from both El Cap and Ocean Mesa is a great beach to spend the day at. It was only 10 bucks to come in here all day. It's literally walking distance from the park. Like we drove because we have cameras and some food and, and a kid, but it would be very easy to get here. There's your change, you'll just literally see across the street. Windshield. Thank you. And straight ahead to Dave's walk. Another activity we did here was whale watching. It was Kai's first time and my first time too. 
We did a whale watching tour, which is around two hours long, and we got to see migrating whales along the coast. It was incredible. If you haven't been whale watching before, Santa Barbara is a great place to do it. South Carolina. Another RV resort that makes our top three list is Carolina Pines in Conway. This place is somewhere where I could easily spend an entire season. Six months at Carolina Pines, schedule me in. I gotta say, it's gonna be very hard to leave this place. It's so perfect. It's got everything that you could want. Just so many activities happening throughout the day for kids, for adults, live music, crafts, multiple swimming pools, places to walk, surrounded by palm trees, beautiful paths to walk on, ride a bike on, drive a golf cart, because that alone is one of my favorite things to do. It's so much fun. Dog parks, great food. It's really endless. Yeah, I don't wanna leave, ever. <laughs> for an average of $66 a night, you'll get great value for your money. Some of the many features of this resort is the fitness center, yoga center, swimming pools, arcade, restaurant, nightly entertainment, and wait for it, a full-on water park. You can't go to South Carolina without spending at least one day in Myrtle Beach. Yes, there are the cheesy shops and heavily tourist restaurants and attractions, but those can be fun too. The choice is yours. We enjoyed walking around the Market Commons, which has plenty of shopping and yummy restaurants. Avocado toast, got greens, beans, Brussels sprouts. We had cauliflower, cauliflower, cauliflower bites and See, has got a bowl with like all this goodness. This place is, has an amazing food. More importantly, they have brunch all day. Been out the whole day. We didn't bring Atlas's dinner with us, but they, it doesn't matter because they have a dog menu here, right here. So you can actually order for your dog as well. Naples and Fort Myers, Florida. Naples is situated on the Gulf of Mexico on the Florida coast. It's fancy y'all, and our family enjoys a little luxury now and then. It gets its name from Naples, Italy, when early settlers said the bay was more beautiful than the bay in Italy. We can see why this area is so popular and has the largest strip of estates and mansions we've ever seen. Meanwhile, we stayed at an RV resort called Club Naples for an average of $51 a night. Here, you can spend days at the beach, stroll the beautiful promenade, and dine at the many authentic Italian restaurants. Mm, so good. And be sure to visit the Naples Botanical Gardens, where all your senses will be nourished. Downtown Fort Myers is a lot of fun too. This family-friendly city makes it easy to keep everyone entertained. You can book boat tours, sailing trips, see manatees, and so much more. You can also take a day trip to Sanibel Island, which is nearby, where the beaches are absolutely full of shells. Today we're exploring Sanibel Island, and this island is also known as the Shell Island of the World. This island is less than a 30 minute drive from the RV resort, so it's an easy day trip. I have never seen so many shells on a beach in my entire life. It's incredible! Look at that! Everywhere! We spent two weeks in this area at Wood Smoke Camping Resort for $58 a night. By far, our favorite spot in this area was Bonita Dog Beach Park. It's actually in Bonita Springs, which is in between Naples and Fort Myers. Perfect place to watch the sunset with packs of happy dogs playing on the beach. We spent quite a bit of time here with our pup Atlas. The Florida Keys. The Florida Keys are where the people of Florida go for a vacation. If you're looking for laid back, beachy vibes, turquoise water with a tad hotter climate than other parts of Florida, this is your place. 
We spent a couple of weeks in Key Largo and Key Marathon, where most people tend to flock to Key West. While a trip to Key West is a must, we prefer the more chillax vibes in other parts of the Keys. You can spend the days laying on the beach or splashing in the water. One of our favorite things to do was ride our electric bikes along the bike paths. Since the Keys is a popular destination, you want to book your RV spot way in advance, especially during high season, which is December through mid-April. In Key Largo, we stayed at Sun Outdoors Key Largo for $77 a night. It was right on the ocean, and we highly recommend going for breakfast or lunch at Coco Plum Place. Something we love to do wherever we go is find a really good breakfast spot. And I think we found the best one in our area. There's two places here. There's a seaside eatery and there's Coco Plum. Two places, side by side, completely different restaurants, but they both have a lot of different uh, plant-based options and they're both incredibly delicious. Yes, yeah. TLT is the bomb. Might be the best sandwich I've ever had. Go! <laughs> mm. Since we were only an hour away from Miami, we also went to the city a couple of times. And if you have kids, we highly recommend a visit to Pinto's Farm for baby goat kisses and pony rides. Baby goats. Enough said. That's so cool, you can take off the goats. Are you gonna go pet some? They're your friends, right, the baby goats? There's also Fairchild Botanical Tropical Gardens. You can easily spend a day here by yourself, as a couple, or with a family. It's highly enjoyable getting to learn about the different plants and walk through the gardens. The butterfly garden is a favorite. Definitely go there. In Key Marathon, you're more south into the Keys, and there's more to do in this area. We stayed at San Outdoors Marathon, which was on average $100 per night. We've arrived at Marathon. <laughs> Just steps away from the ocean. This resort is next to a wonderful dolphin research center with dozens of happy dolphins that choose to stay here. They could leave, but they don't. Ooh, another one! Hello! Oh yeah, they're beautiful! <laughs> From here, we were much closer to Key West and drove down to spend the day in the small party-packed island. Today we made the hour and a half drive to Key West. And this place reminds me of Bourbon Street in New Orleans. It's just got that same vibe, but way more tropical, obviously. If you like this video, then you're gonna love this playlist that we created of our trip throughout the United States, visiting some of the places we talked about in this video like Santa Barbara and Moab and the Redwood Forest. We want to thank our sponsor again, Rad Power Bikes. We are obsessed with our bikes. We know you will be too. So don't forget to go to the video description below, click the links, learn more, and get your own. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to go ride my bike. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.